This is Shari from Little Blue Deer Design and I'm going to show you today how to add columns to a WordPress blog post. Um, a lot of fashion bloggers like to have a uh, nice layout where they've got uh, an image uh, with two columns side by side, maybe one picture above and one below, and this is fairly easy to do. So I'm just going to show you a very quick and easy way to add columns to your blog post. So for this, you're going to want to use uh, two plugins. One is called CSS Plus. You can search for that in the WordPress plugin repository. And the second one is called Column Shortcodes by CodePress. And you can also find that in the WordPress plugins repository. You can also search um, in your WordPress dashboard on Add Plugins. You can just search for the name of the plugin and install it there. I do have another tutorial on adding plugins if you don't know how to do that, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to assume that you do. So the first thing that you want to start out with is two photos that are the exact same size. This is really important. Um, they should be portrait oriented or up and down works a lot better. And you just want to make sure that they're the same size. Otherwise, you're going to have space above and below your photos and you don't really want that. So if you don't have Photoshop, you can always use something called PicMonkey. PicMonkey.com, you don't need an account. Um, and all you want to do to start editing your photo and cropping it is just go to open new click on computer and you can upload the photo from your computer which I've already done. So all you want to do after that is click on the crop button. If you need to crop, maybe we need to make our picture just a little less tall so it matches. Um, you just click and drag this area, click on crop, and you're done. And you can also change the sizing of the photo here where it says actual size and your photo will adjust. It is my recommendation that you use a photo at least 500 pixels wide. Um, for retina friendly, 1000 pixels is great. Um, but you can do what you want. The most important thing to remember is that your photos are the same width and height. So start there. PicMonkey is a handy dandy little tool. Um, I'm probably going to do another tutorial on that soon. Now come over. To your blog post and you can see I've already uploaded one full width photo here because I like the look of a full width photo and then the two columns and then another photo below. I do realize these are the exact same photos but this is just what I'm using for the sake of this tutorial. So you're going to place your cursor in between the two photos. Maybe give it just a little space if you want to. If not, you don't have to. And if you've installed the column shortcodes plugin, you will see now in your dashboard a little icon up here that looks like a parentheses. So just click on that and click one half. What you're going to want to do is click your mouse right between the two short code columns or the parentheses and click add media. I've already cropped my photo so I'm going to go ahead and select the photo and go down to insert into page. And that's what you've got now. Now what you want to do next is put your mouse right next to the closing one half column. That's the column that will be below the photo. And one more time, you're going to go up here and you're going to click on one half. This will insert another half column. And all you need to do is click your mouse between the one half, the opening one half and the closing one half. Click add media and insert your second photo. And now, if we come over here and look at preview, we're going to see we should see that we have the two photos. I don't think that mine refreshed here. And there we go. We've got the two photos side by side. Now, what do you notice about this? Um, I guess they're not perfectly cropped either, so I wasn't as exacting. I'm sure that you'll want to be. Um, there is no space between these two photos. So what you're going to want to do is go back over here to the edit. And I'm going to actually, instead of editing this, what I'm going to do is show you how we're just going to add another set of columns and I'm going to show you how to add what's called padding to your photos, to your columns. So give a uh, shift return 
And just FYI, shift return will do a no space return. Um, if you just click a hard return with no shift key pressed at the same time, you'll get a more space return. Just a handy dandy little trick. Um, I'm going to use shift return. I'm going to go right back up to the column short code. I'm going to click on the select short code and I'm going to click one half again. But I missed a spot. We're going to do it again. All right. So column padding. Padding is the area of white space between your photos. So we probably don't want to mess with the top and the bottom padding, but maybe we want to add a little bit of padding right and left. So I'm going to put five pixels of padding right and left, and then I'm going to click one half, and that's going to actually insert the padding. So one more time, I'm going to insert my photo, and then I'm going to repeat the process here, click the column short code. It's already set to five pixels of padding because that's what I was just using. Click one half, click my mouse in between the two short codes, add the media, insert into page, and I'm going to preview. And you will see that we have the two photos with a little more padding. Now, you'll notice that when the padding is added, you lose a little bit of the height and width. So if you want more white space, you can go right back to your editor. See where it says five picks? Let's try 25 pixels. And we're gonna try 25 pixels. And we're going to preview. And you'll see now that there's a little bit more padding in between the photos. So to adjust your photos, all you want to do is to crop them uniformly and then you can work on adjusting the padding. And there's one final step if you want and you're a little bit more advanced with coding. Um, as you can see, there's a little bit of space above and below. You can always go in, and for people who aren't super comfortable with WordPress, you can stop the tutorial right here. But keep in mind, you can always click on Edit. You can go to Image CSS class. You can give it a class name, and I'm going to say this is White Pants. Update the image, and then you're going to scroll all the way down to the CSS editor. This is such a handy little tool. Click white pants, and you can add margin, height, and bottom, 30 pixels. Close that, and that's going to add more of a margin to the bottom of your photo. If you want to do that, it, this is really just something that is a little bit more advanced if you're an advanced user. If not, you don't need to worry about it, but you can see where there's definitely more, uh, more space added now at the bottom. So those are just some tools to kind of play with things. Um, you can also view my tutorial, which has every screenshot that you would need from this tutorial, um, at how to add columns to a WordPress blog post, littlebluedeardesign.com. And... Uh, just play around with it. Basically, it's just adding the short codes, adjusting the padding, and making sure that your images are set um, to the proper proportions. And one last thing I wanted to point out is that some people prefer for posts like this to have a full page blog post. You can always change your layout from the layout that has the sidebar on the side to a full page layout by clicking Select Layout. And when you click Preview, you're going to see as soon as the page refreshes that you now have a big, beautiful layout with the columns. So, and you can see too, there's less cropping needed. Um, you can play around with it if you want something that's really bold, then you might want to click the full page option. And once again, remember that you can always change this on an individual post basis. Every page and post in WordPress has a layout settings option. So feel free to play around with it. And um, I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. And if you have any questions, please, please feel free to uh, leave me a comment at the bottom of uh, this tutorial. Thanks so much.